U.S. allies from 15 different countries came to Omaha to talk nuclear and military capability. It's all about deterrence, stopping America's adversaries from doing things that go against the best interests of the United States government. Okay, TV News Watch 7, Sean McKinnon spoke with high-ranking generals. He joins us live from the CHI Health Center. Hey, Sean. Hey, Bill Quinicia. This was the 15th annual deterrence symposium attended by 800 people, the largest one yet, and U.S. generals say the most important one, too. But it is old, and we need to modernize those three legs of the triad. General Anthony Cotting, commander of U.S. STRATCOM based in Bellevue, says the U.S. nuclear triad is capable but needs upgrading. That's part of the U.S.'s deterrence strategy to maintain global peace through this century. Not let... Um, um, two adversaries in particular want to perturb that um, moving forward. Rear Admiral T.R. Buchanan. I would say that China is our pacing threat. Says in a changing landscape, nuclear competitors raise serious questions for the U.S. Challenging conversations about what the use of nuclear weapons would look like are, are realistic conversations to have. These topics on deterrence are taken from Nebraska and brought worldwide. Closer to home in Alabama, Jim Tucci teaches middle-level officers at Maxwell Air Force Base. He used to be stationed in Nebraska at STRATCOM in the 90s. Now it seems like the tensions, the rivalries have, have come back and it's a much more complicated scenario today than it, than it was back then. A topic of discussion among hundreds of military minds, the role of AI in nuclear capabilities and other weapons. General Codden says it'll likely be utilized to some degree, but a real person will always have the final say. I'm not looking for the War Games 1980s movie Whopper solution. We need to be able to figure out how we can manage that data to be able to then use uh, for a human to then make a decision. Tomorrow, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff will be speaking here at the CHI Health Center. That's the nation's top-ranking military official who reports to the Secretary of Defense and the President. Live from downtown Omaha, Sean McKinnon, KTV News Watch 7.